I'm Mark Hall with the Alabama Cooperative Extension System. With me today is Brad Durham. Brad is our uh, Natural Resources Advisor for yes, the uh, for Auburn University, and he's located here at the Tennessee Valley Research and Extension Center. And we're going to be talking about linear irrigation today. Linear irrigation, Brad, that, that don't suit everybody, but in some places it's it's what folks need. Tell us about linear. Linear is just it goes down and back, right. down and back, don't circle. It looks like uh, it's the same above ground, but uh, tell us about linear irrigation. Uh, it's a real good system for any rectangle or square field you have, whereas the center pivots, you know, goes around in circles and some of the edges don't get irrigated, don't get irrigation. We got a hose drag system here, and you can get a ditch fed or a hose drag system, and they're very, very efficient. Uh, on a square field, and you can cover, you know, quite a bit of, of acreage. So you can set it up so that you, you're irrigating every square foot, every row of that field is irrigated if it fits in a linear. That's correct. Where it can go down and back, which a, a lot of fields do. Uh, what are the uh, uh, disadvantages uh, of it compared to, say, drip or center pivot? Uh, a center pivot, you know, you can pretty much hit the button and go. A uh, linear move system is more labor intensive. We've got to swap hoses every 500 feet. We have to swap hoses, which you know you have to have either a tractor or a truck and drag a hose to the next hydrant and hook it up. Um, you, you just have to look after it more because you really don't want to pull one of those hydrants out of the ground. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah. They're in the ground about four feet and they're very, very hard to dig up and, and replace. How long will those hoses last? To me, it looked like that would be a weakness of the system getting dragged along the ground. Well, the hoses, this is our second set of hoses here, and the, the irrigation system's been in for about 20 years, I believe. Um, so they last a good eight to 10 years, I would say, on average. For water usage, would the water usage for a linear system be the same per acre as a, a center pivot? Yes, sir, same per acre. The same per acre. But crop-wise, talk about crops for me just a minute, Brad. Would it make any difference whether you're growing? Uh, I've, we've got corn and soybeans and cotton under this year, right. but with strawberries, uh, high-value vegetable crops, uh, would it work just the same on any of them? I would assume it would. Uh, I don't have very much of a horticulture background. I would think it would work along the same lines. You know, we've got the drop nozzles. You know, they're closer. Can get closer to the ground. You know, where you don't have a lot more. Uh, you know, in the hotter parts of the summer, you got a lot of evaporation um, from overhead and irrigation. So, anything else? I, I just drug him out of the field and said, "Come <laughs> here and talk to me about our linear irrigation system." And I appreciate you doing that, Brad. Any other thoughts on this? Because you're you seem to be the go-to guy, and I see you out there working on that thing all the time. When when it's going, when right. it's hot weather, irrigation is a job. Right. That's correct. You know, the only other labor intensive part of the machine is uh, the furrow. You know, we have to keep a furrow dug to guide the system. You dig a furrow, you know, we got GPS auto steer tractors that can dig a precise furrow and run that machine, the irrigation machine, right in a very precise location. You know, I, I would think if you didn't have RTK, you know, systems, that might be a little bit of a burden, you know, that could get out of line. And it's got these little sensors on the, uh, the furrow got its furrow wheels. You know, if it gets out of line, it'll cut itself off and cut the water off all that. So it's it's really a good system. Say a little bit more about that in line. I, I tell you the truth, I hadn't even thought about that. That it's just a, it's just a linear. Right. It's like a board. It's like a two by four going over, but it's got all these wheels. So if one of them gets off, man, that could get twisted around. That's correct. Um, now the newer systems are they have some GPS driven systems now. Would that be on um, every wheel or just one? The, those I believe are just on one station. Um, you know, our, ours is in the middle of the field. Our guidance fair is in the middle of the field. Most of them are on the inside right next to the cart, as you, you know, most people call the cart. It's where the motor and where all the operation uh, operations are for the machine. Thank you, Brad. I appreciate your, uh, your yes, sharing your knowledge with us today. Folks, if you'd like to look at our other irrigation videos, here's a website that they're all on there, or any other ag or, or 4-H or home ec kind of videos, how to, how to skin a catfish, all kind of interesting videos right here at this link. Thank you for watching.